Enlightenment is another, another one of those interesting words. It's, it's a word that's so, been so misused. It's become so loaded with all sorts of meanings. And, you know, people drive themselves mad searching for this elusive thing called enlightenment. You know, there's, uh, you know, this misconception that enlightenment is some sort of future state. That if you're lucky enough or you, you're dedicated enough, you work hard enough that, you know, one day maybe you might enter the, into this state, although ultimately no one enters into this state, blah, blah, blah. You know, um, <clears throat> uh, for me, the, the word enlightenment could be just an, another pointer to this, just this absolute simplicity, you know. Um, and the word itself is quite interesting. If you just strip away all the old meanings and kind of look, take a fresh look at the word itself, enlightenment, you know, to, um, to enlighten, to shine light upon. You know, so there's the sense there of something revealing itself, something showing itself, something coming into the light. And you, you know, what you see is that, like this is already revealing itself, you see. Like, life is already here, it's already happening, it's already showing itself, it's already in the light, you know. I mean, it, oh, enlightenment is not a word I use, I, I hardly ever use the word. Um, but I think if we are going to use it, let's strip away all the old, outdated, meanings, you know, that have caused so much suffering. And let's take a fresh look at it, you know, that um, life, life is happening right now, you know, it's, it's like, if there is any enlightenment, it's, it's here and now, it's like this, it's like this is already enlightened, and the, the shocking thing to see, I guess, is that enlightenment is not personal, you know, it's nothing to do with um, a person becoming enlightened, because that's like the ultimate... Um, you know, the, the, the ego loves that, you know, it, it loves to go around the world proclaiming it's, it's enlightened. You know, I, I, I'm enlightened, you know, I, I'm enlightened and you're not. It's like the ultimate goal of the, the ego, you know. And then it just uses that concept to separate itself from other non-enlightened egos. And I, and I know this because this is what I used to do, you know, years ago. I thought I was enlightened and others weren't. And, um, but that was just more separation. It was just like almost the ultimate separation, you know. So that doesn't interest me anymore. That's, um, that's all, you know, that whole game, you know, uh, enlightened people, awakened people, that's all part of the, the dream, you know, that, that's all the dream, the dream, the dream of separate people. It's like the, the person who thinks they're enlightened, you know, the person who goes around telling people that they're enlightened and saying, you know, I'm enlightened and you're not, you know, that person still sees a me and a you, you know. So, and that, that's, it's still a story they're telling themselves, you know, ultimately they have to wake up every morning and tell themselves on some level that they're enlightened, otherwise they would have no way of knowing, you know. So I really, again, until you tell yourself on some level, until you tell yourself who you are, you have no way of knowing who you are. You would have no way of ever knowing that you were enlightened.